Okay, so you're back for more. You want to make this game like be over, have the octopus die. It's going to be amazing or get captured by the shark. Now, here's what I'm going to say. The octopus is starting things off by broadcasting when it's time to start the game. So you get this two second delay and then the octopus tells the, everybody in the game, okay, let's start, right? Now, this broadcast thing is amazing because if you just change you didn't do it based on waiting, like wait blocks, you just did it with this broadcast. So if you were to say, I actually, I want a three second window, all you have to change is this, and everybody will then resp respond at the right time because of the broadcast. If you had put a bunch of wait blocks in there, you have to go change all your wait blocks and that'd be gross. But anyway, um, here's what I'm saying. The octopus kicked off the game. What I want is I want the shark to end the game. So I want the shark to, to tell everybody when the game's over. Now what you've got, I put this little thing here because it's kind of a pain to build, but when the game starts, the shark has this part of his brain that's just waiting until he touches the octopus. He's just, this part, all this other stuff is going, 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 that's going forever, that's going forever, and this part of his brain is just waiting. And then when he realizes he's touched the octopus, what I want to do is I want to broadcast another message. So you're going to go to your vents, you're going to get your broadcast, and this time, you're going to let everybody know the game's over. Right now, remember, this is broadcast, not say, so it's not going to give you a word bubble. It's just going to send out this super secret um, message that the game has ended. Right? Um, and I don't want the octopus, or I don't want the shark to keep swimming and chomping, so I'm going to show you another thing that's a little crazy. In the control, I'm going to grab this stop and I want to stop everything else that's going on in my brain so all the other scripts that are here in the shark so that means this would die which is making you move this would die this is going to make him animate boom gorgeous now so right now if I run this um, look at that the shark just stopped in his tracks because he, when he touched it, he said, oh, game's over, and he just stopped. Now, the thing that we're missing is the octopus has not responded to that yet, right? Now, the octopus actually knows when it's over because he's going to receive that end game. So I'm going to switch over to the octopus brain. I'm going to go to his events. I'm going to grab, I just lost it. Oh, this guy. When I receive end game. So... So the octopus is saying, okay, when I hear that the game is over, then let's go back to your control. I want you to stop all everything else you're doing. So the octopus says, I'm going to kill everything else that's going on in my brain. I'm going to stop doing everything. So now we've got a little bit of a boop, right? And that's a little sad way to end right so but that's the great thing is that now you've got everybody responding to that in some way now if you want your octopus to oh go ahead and pause me right now and make sure you've got that make sure that you've got the shark broadcast that's into the world and kills every it kills all of his scripts and then the octopus will respond to it being the end of the world pause me and make sure you got that going on and then we're just going to pretty it up from there Okay, so you get a functional end of the game. It's kind of sad, but here's what I'm going to say. To make it prettier, I'm going to take the, You could make the shark. Um, maybe you want him to say chomp or I win or something, right? So you could have him say something awesome. I think something that's really cool is I'm going to switch over to the octopus. And again, this is all, just play around with this. What do, you, do you want him to shrink into nothingness? Do you want him to um, spin around? Do you want him to, what's he going to do when it's, to show that he has um, lost? So you can do whatever you want. Um, I would say probably change his look in some way. Um, I don't know. I think... You can make him shrink, you can make him spin, you can do whatever you want. So get creative, right? Get creative and have him do something to indicate that he has lost. So pause me while you get 
something going on that, that you love as a kind of death animation, if you will. Um, and come back and we're going to do one last thing. Okay, so you're super happy with your death animation with the octopus. Let's do one last thing. Um, octopus, shark, stage. Let's click on the stage over here. Let's click on the backdrops. Right now we've only got one backdrop, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to use this little paintbrush here and I'm going to make kind of a lame backdrop. I'm going to use some text that is red. So that's your text tool. Pick you something. I'm going to say game over. So that's a really boring um, backdrop, but it says game over. You could maybe, um, well, that was, <laughs> that was not so good. Um, I'm going to do that. I should have painted it before I put it on there, but you could use your paint bucket tool to change the backdrop, the background of it or, or whatnot. You could change, um, you know, make it look however you want. Uh, but now the, we got a little bit of cleanup to do because you want to make sure that you're on the right backdrop at the right time. This backdrop, you could even um, switch to it at the right time. So here's what I'm going to say. Let's go back to your octopus. Now that you've got two backdrops, you just want to make sure that you're on the right one at the right time. So I'm going to go into the octopus and I'm going to say when the game starts, I'm going to go to my looks and I'm going to say as soon as the game starts, let's make sure that we are on the underwater backdrop. But then um, when the game ends, that's not what I wanted. I don't want to switch the costume. I want to switch the backdrop to that end, end game screen. So as soon as the game starts, you go underwater. When the octopus realizes that he has died, he's going to switch the backdrop to the end game. And now what you've got is an actual, functional, extra awesome game. Start again. And gorgeous. Excellent. So make sure you share that, copy that link, and paste it over into Canvas and make it awesome.